What's up guys, I'm Suman from Phonestein. Now, this debate between 8 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of RAM is going on for generations starting from the DDR2, if I'm right, DDR3 and now DDR4. And I thought, why not check it out for myself? And today, we'll be comparing 8 gigs of RAM versus 16 gigs of RAM and this will go through gaming tests and productivity tests like uh, video editing and in the end you will definitely get a clear idea of how much RAM you need to go with so without wasting any time let's begin now talking about the RAM we are going to be using a RAM kit from G-Skill and this is from the Ripjaw series of course and this RAM is clocked at 2400 MHz. Now all the tests, be it gaming or productivity, it is all completely on 1080p. So the gaming will be on 1080p, the videos which are rendered out is definitely in 1080p with the maximum details uh, selected. Now you would have definitely seen the benchmarks and from this you would have got a good idea about how 8 gigs stack up with 16 gigs. Actually there's not much of a difference and considering the amount that you're gonna spend on those extra 8 gigs I think you can spend that on for buying a better GPU or even a better CPU or uh, improving your storage. So in this way, you can definitely later on upgrade because all the motherboards that we have now definitely support future upgradability so that is not a problem. Now I hope you guys have a better idea of how 8 gigs stack up with 16 and I personally think that if you are a first time PC builder, you need not go with 16 gigs unless and until you are going to do like literally heavy multitasking. But unless that, please don't go with that but rather invest in something else. But anyway, it was a good experience, I mean, uh, benchmarking all these uh, games and uh, productivity apps and I definitely enjoyed myself. But anyways, thank you for watching and this is Suman signing off once again. Catch you later.